Welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In this video, I'm going to explain why you're getting stuck with your gear score. I've been talking to Average Sniper on Discord for the last few days now about this because when you pass like 200 gear score on this game, it becomes a big, big grind. It takes a long, long time. And I think I finally figured out why it doesn't increase pretty much at all once you're past like 240 245 so looking in the shop you can see everything is 244 that is a negative even on the gear everything is 244 even my blueprints the weapons on demand every single one of them is a 244 scrolling through all of them you can see that there's no change there's no like 243 244 it's all just 244 if we leave camp, we're going to go into my loadout quickly and then I'm going to show you what you need to do to get past that stage of being stuck. In my loadout, look at the top left, I'm 246. Every single thing in the shop is two score lower than my actual. Quickly taking a look at the map, the only way you can get to 252, which is the max, is by getting yourself to 250. I would recommend taking down the Red Shark Outpost, which is a 250 plus. That can be found in the channels, which is on the west side of the map. Then up to the northeast, over here in Driftwood, you have Camp Kodiak. Again, Wolves Camp 250+. Once you get to 250, the only way to get to 252 is to do the Elite Faction missions. Every single crate and enemy drop that you get will cap a 250. Every single weapon you can craft, your weapons on demand, that all caps a 250. If you want to push it to 252, the only way you can do that are the elite faction missions. So if you're in my exact position, you're a 246, but everything in the shop is 244. When you go to these wolves camps, everything is going to drop at a 246. It won't drop any higher. If we have a look at my loadout, there are five different things that I have that are not 246. They're a little bit lower. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to run a couple of missions. The reason we're going to do this, I've done the main story now, I've completed that. You don't really need to do missions, but I'm trying to get the side missions done. All you need to do is just go around opening loot crates, gear crates, whatever you want to call them, wherever you'll find them. There's so many on the map, but you need to keep opening them and killing enemies until you see the score of the stuff dropping increase. Because right now, if I kill these enemies and get a drop, it's going to drop a 244. The game is registering that that's my gear score, so that's what my stuff will drop at. Like this. This should be a 244. There you go, 244. For some reason, the game takes forever to update. So, it, does, it doesn't do it early on. I don't understand why it does it in the late game. It might be a mechanic they've put in so that it takes a little bit longer... To get to max gear score. So that's going to be a 244 as well. There we go. The SVD. So what you need to do is carry on grinding. Just looting random stuff all over the place. I'm going to do a mission. They don't make a difference. Just so that that's clear. When I start getting 246 items. Out of crates. Off enemies. As soon as that number is 246. I'm going to go back down to the wolf camp. I'm going to take that down. I've got it on arcade mode so that the enemies die quicker. It's a lot easier. I take less damage. They take more damage. They deal less damage. But when we go back to the wolves camp, I'll show you it on, like, on video. It's probably going to take me about an hour or so because it does take a while to update. But as soon as we get to 246 items dropping, then we go to the wolf camp. The items there should drop. I'm going to say a 248. I'm not entirely sure. Just because when I first tried this today, I was a 241 and everything was dropping at 244. But obviously I'm getting close to the max now. I'm going to go do this mission, do whatever else I need to do until everything is 246. Then I will be back. It took me a little bit longer than expected, but we finally got there. Everything in the store, I was actually going to leave this until the next day or something. I've got a plus one on the hat. I went and did both faction missions for the day, both the elite ones. I got a chest that was 247, so that was a bit of an improvement. Then I was roaming around. I don't think I did any side missions. I think I just took down a camp as well. 
And then I did a few patrols like on my way to the camp. It's been about maybe an hour and a half, two hours. And then with the fresh drop 15 minutes ago, because obviously there's new content every hour, it reset it all to 246. So that means now all of our gear is 246. I'm at the perfect bivouac, the closest one to the wolf's camp. If the gear drops and it's 247, that literally means that for the rest of the gear score, it should only improve by plus one. 241, it went up three. Then from 244, it went up two. So from 246, I'm hoping it keeps it in increments of two. There's a blue drop off a wolf. It's 248. That I can deal with. So, if I was to carry on, I'm not going to carry on. I need to get some sleep. I'm exhausted. But if I was to carry on, I would literally hit 250 within the next few hours. So, all you need to do is start grinding the wolf camps. Start doing... Because there's two of these camps. I don't know if... I don't think it's going to work because basically the way this works is your gear score doesn't update instantly. It takes a couple of hours. I don't know why it makes a difference from early game to end game, but you've seen the process. In the standard weapon parts video, I was 241. I went up to 244, but everything in the store, the shop at a bivouac or Erewhon, Maria's shop was a 242. And then it slowly went up until we caught up to 244. And then I was able to come back here, get stuff for 246. Then I went and did the elite faction missions. Don't forget to do those. And I went up to... I stayed 246, but I got a couple of 247 drops. But the store when I was 246 was showing 244. This is really confusing, I apologise. But after the store showing the 244, wait it out a couple of hours. Actually do activities, don't just go AFK or go offline or anything. You have to be playing the game and doing stuff for it to update. I mean, it'll eventually update over time anyway. Like, if you're doing it just before you go to bed or something then it'll be fine, like, by the time you come back on the next day, it should be fixed, like, sorted and updated. But then everything went to 246 in the store, come back to the wolf camp, and now I'm getting 248 drops. So I've cracked it. If you're getting stuck, exactly what I'm doing right now is what you need to do. Oh, look at that. Two enemies, two drops. 248 gloves. Give me a gun. Nice gun. 248 gun, please. Oh, we've got 248 boots. I mean, that's a plus three. That should put me up to 247. I'm hoping. I haven't got any better weapons. Not even a pistol. I've got a plus one on there. Plus one on there. Plus two. This has to. Yes, 247. See, but what I can do is, if anything is lower, I mean, it's going to take a while to do this if I was going to do it, but what I can do is, as an example, like, if I wanted to get everything to 248, I could farm this wolf camp over and over again. I don't think it would actually put me up to 248 gear score, but I mean, I could get a weapon that's a 248 that would improve the Scorpio by 3, the MP7 would go up by 2. The pistol would go up by 2. Then the only upgrades I can do on the gear is the chest and the hat. The hat by 2. The chest by 1. But that's literally all you got to do. And eventually you'll get to 250. When you get to 250, the only thing you can do are the elite faction missions. You can't get 252 from the wolves camps. But that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to finish off this wolf camp. And hopefully by tomorrow I will be at 252. Maxed out gear score. I've completed the main story. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just quickly, limited time Christmas merch is available now at teespring.com slash stores slash born to game merch. It's only available until the 8th of November. I've done it like that because of shipping times. But there is other cool stuff on there too. So if you're interested, there is a link in the description or on the about section of the channel. There's also channel memberships now. So if you would like to support the channel and get some perks, you should see a join button next to subscribe and you can go and take a look. There's three different levels, each offering more perks. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.